Our exploration of the moon began in 1969, and while there have been challenges along the way, astronomers are confident we'll return soon with advanced knowledge and technology. Surprisingly, an 800-year-old concept known as the Fibonacci sphere could prove more useful than sophisticated GPS systems or powerful rockets. This idea, rediscovered by scientists at a Hungarian university while studying the moon, offers insights into the moon's rotation and slightly squished shape as it orbits Earth. Contrary to popular belief, neither Earth nor the moon is a perfect sphere. Instead, they resemble slightly deflated soccer balls due to gravity, rotation, and tidal forces. Earth's GPS technology already accounts for its flattened poles and imperfect spherical shape. To create a similar mapping system for the Moon, scientists must consider its unique shape, called a selenoid, which is less compressed than Earth. Until now, researchers have simplified the Moon's shape as a sphere, but upcoming missions demand greater precision. Scientists are now gathering accurate data to refine our understanding of the Moon's true form. The Fibonacci sphere plays a crucial role here. By evenly distributing points on a sphere, it helped scientists map around 100,000 locations on the Moon using NASA's data. This mapping revealed that the Moon's poles are approximately 0.3 miles closer to its center than its equator. While this detail may seem minor, Adjusting lunar GPS systems accordingly could prevent navigational errors during future landings. This mathematical approach, reminiscent of work done in the 1960s, prepares us for more accurate and successful missions. Fibonacci's contributions extend beyond space exploration. Originally, the Italian mathematician developed his famous sequence while solving a theoretical problem about rabbit populations. His sequence, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, and so on, results from adding the two preceding numbers. This pattern, later found throughout nature, can describe the arrangement of leaves, sunflower seeds, and even the spiral growth of seashells. It has also inspired practical applications in fields like finance, agriculture, and computer science. Fibonacci spirals, drawn by scaling circles using his sequence, form a growing spiral that maintains its shape. This pattern is observed in the natural world, such as pine cones, ocean waves, and even the curvature of hurricanes. It also appears in human anatomy, from bone lengths to finger joints aiding smooth motion. Artists and architects have harnessed Fibonacci's ideas too. Leonardo da Vinci and others used the golden ratio, a proportion derived from the sequence, in works like the Mona Lisa and the Parthenon. Similarly, the Great Pyramid of Giza may have been designed with these principles, as its shape aligns closely with the golden ratio. Zooming out, the Fibonacci sequence reveals itself in the spiral structure of galaxies, including the Milky Way. This formation results from gravity's uneven pull as stars develop at different rates, stretching young galaxies into spirals. In cases where stars form simultaneously, gravity shapes galaxies into elliptical forms instead. These recurring patterns highlight the universal influence of Fibonacci's work, extending from Earth's landscapes to the farthest reaches of space.